In this video, I am going to show you 10 amazing eye features in CapCut that's going to blow your mind. And the fifth AI tool will leave you in shock. Now let's get into the video. So CapCut has introduced a new AI image generator to its new version. So let me show you how to generate amazing images using this AI. So this is our CapCut interface. And if you want to access the AI image generator, you come to AI Media. So you click on this tab here. Then you go to AI Image. So there is the interface. So there is the particular place you enter your prompt. And the model you want to use is also here. So you choose either between these two, and also the aspect ratio is also here. So I already have a prompt that I want to use. For this particular video, I will just come and copy this particular prompt here. So I'll copy it. Then I'll come and paste it here. And also if you have a picture that you want to use. As a reference you can come and click on reference here. And you can upload the picture you want to use. But I want to use the prompt. So I will just stick to that. So now when you're done you come to the model. Then you can select the model you want to use. But I will stick to the first one. The default one. And also you can select any aspect ratio that you want. But I'm going to use 16 by 9. Which is the aspect ratio for YouTube. Then when you are done. You just come and click on generate. So if you haven't signed in, CapCut will prompt you to sign in. So I will just sign in with my Google account. After signing in, then you click on generate. So after clicking on generate, you click on allow. Then you wait for a while for your image to be generated. So this will take a while. So as you can see, our image has been generated. So CapCut has generated four images for us. So this is the second one. And also this is the third one. And this is the fourth one. So pair the prompt we gave. You have to select one of the pictures that you want to use or you want to modify. So I'm going to select this particular picture and also you can regenerate or modify. So you can go to regenerate and CapCut will generate another four images for you. So as you can see, CapCut has generated another four images. These images are very, very amazing. So you can select the one you want to use. So I want to use this particular one for this tutorial. And also take note that this particular A I feature is a pro version, so if you want to use it, unless you buy the pro version of CapCut, before you can export your images. So let's move to the next AI2, which is the image to video generator. So before you can access that you go to iMedia again, then you go to iVideo. So when you come to this particular place, you have two sections, which is the image to video and the text to videos. So I'll go into text to video later in this video. So let's focus on the image to video. So when you come to this particular place, you have a lot of options here. So if you want to add your image, you click on this particular import image button here. So let's import the image we generated using CapCut, iImage Generator. So we have imported our image. Now you come to model. So you go to model and there are two options here. So you can select any of them that you want. But I'm going to stick with the default one. Then you come to speed. You set the speed to normal camera control. That one to two default. Then you can also change the duration and also the aspect ratio. But I'm going to leave it at 16 by nine because our image is already in 16 by nine. And when you're done, you just click on generate. So you wait for a while for your video to be generated for you. So our video has been generated. So let's play it and see how it looks like. And this particular video is very amazing. CapCut AI did a very good job. So this CapCut AI video generator is very amazing. So let's move to the next AI tool. So let's save this particular video. So our next AI tool is how you can convert a test into video in CapCut. So now go to AI video. Then you come to test to video. So you put your prompt here. So I have already copied a prompt that I will be using for this particular video. So I will just right click then paste my prompt here. So when you are done you come to model and also you select the model that you want to use then then when you are done you just come and click on generate so you wait for a while for CapCut to generate your video for you based on the prompt that you pasted so let's play it and see what we got so if you are not satisfied with the video that CapCut generated you can come and click on regenerate here so that CapCut will generate another video for you. So let's move to the next AI too. So our next AI tune is the transcript. So I have this particular video. So I will just drag and drop it to the timeline. Then come to this particular place. 
So this is the transcript and also it's a pro feature. So before you can use it, or before you can export any video, unless you buy the pro version. So I'll just click on transcript. So my audio will be analyzed and identify all the pauses and the repeats in my video and also the filler words in my video. So as you can see, our video has been analyzed. Our pauses has been ticked and also cancel. All the pauses in our video has been ticked. So you can just click on delete and all the pauses will be deleted. And also if you have anything in the video that you want to delete, all you need to do is just click on this checkbox here and it will be added to the pauses. And when you click on delete, that one also will be deleted. So this how to use the transcript I in CapCut to delete all the pauses, the filler words and also the silences in your video with just a single click. So let's move to the next AI tool. So our next AI tool is the isolate voice. So I have this particular audio here. Let me trim it a little bit and play it for you to see. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. So let's say I want to isolate the voice from the beat using CapCut AI. So this is what you need to do. All you need to do is to come to basic here. Then you scroll down to isolate voice. And as you can see, it's also a pro version. So before you can export it, unless you buy the pro version of CapCut. So you just select it. Then CapCut will begin to process your audio for you. So you wait for a while for it to be processed. So our vocalist has been isolated. So let's play our video and see. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt. And the beat has been removed. So if you come to this particular drop down menu, you can also remove the vocal and keep the beat. So this is how you can use this particular. I to just isolate the vocal in your audios and also isolate the beats in your audios. So let's move to the next AI tool. So our next day I do is how to enhance your voice in your audios or in your videos. So I have this particular audio here that, that I want to enhance the voice. So to do that, you just go to this particular tap here basic. Then you scroll down to enhance voice. So you just click on this particular box here and CapCut will begin to enhance your video for you. So our voice has been enhanced. And just like that, your voice will be enhanced for you. And you know, CapCut also allows you to generate captions for your videos. So let me show you how you can use this uh, I to generate captions for your videos. So I have this particular video. So let me trim it a little bit for the sake of this tutorial. Then you go to captions here. So you click on the captions. So you go to spoken language. Then you select the language that your audio is in. So my audio is in English. So I will stick to English. Then when you are done, you just come and click on generate. So you wait for a while for CapCut to generate the captions for you. So as you can see, our captions has been generated. And if you want to edit the captions, you can come to basic. Then under basic, you can go to font. Then you can select any font that you want to use for your caption. Then also, you can change the color to any color that you want. So you just come to color. Then you can change it to any color that you want. And also you can go to animation here. Then you can add any animation that you want to use for your videos. So you can add any animation for you. And CapCut also have special animations for captions. So you can come to captions here. Then you have all these amazing animations that you can use for your captions. So let's say you want to convert this particular caption you generated into speech. So in CapCut, you can also do that. So all you need to do is to highlight all your captions. Then you go to text to speech. So here you select the voice that you want to use. So I will just select this particular voice, Lucas. Then when you are done, you just come and click on generate speech. So you wait for a while for your speech to be generated. So let's play our video and see. Start so primeiro want mine to start from then press control. So you can edit your audio to how you want it to be. And also if you don't like the voice, you can delete all of them. Then you use another voice for your video. So I will select peaceful meal, then click on genuine speech. So let's play our video and see start. So I want mine to start from this side, then press control plus B to make a split, then make a duplicate and place it on top on the main footage. So now in CapCut, you can also change the voice of your audios using the voice changer. So if you want to do that, you can come to voice here. Then there are a lot of voices you can use. 
Some are pro and some are also free, so you can use those that you want. So I will select energetic. But, so I want mine to start from this side, then press Ctrl plus B to make a split. Our voice has been changed using the voice changer, so let's move to the next AI tool. So our next AI tool is the extract audio. So in CapCut you can easily extract the audios in your videos onto a separate layer. So let me show you how you can do just that. So there's the video so you just right click. Then you go to extract audio. So you just click on it then as you can see. Our audio has been separated onto the audio layer, so you can edit your video to how you want it to be. You can also change the voice of your audio, you can also go to basic, adjust the volume, and also add some fade in and fade out. And also use all this AI tool that CapCut has here. So, these are amazing AI tool that you can try in CapCut. And if you like this video, then give us a like and also subscribe. See you in the next tutorial.